Hello students, I am Prakash, Chartered Accountant and acting as Academic Advisor in Masterminds from the past 20 years. I have been receiving large number of messages and mails to inquire whether this new syllabus apply for November 23 attempt or not. Students who have not yet completed their coaching for November 23, they are very much worried about their coaching. They don't know how to plan their revision and coaching at this moment of time. And some students are also asking, Sir, we are planning to write our attempt in May 24 attempt of CA final. Then how we need to plan our coaching for this new syllabus? And some are also asking whether this new syllabus will apply for November 23 or will it be postponed to May 24 attempt? And some students are inquiring me, what are the major changes proposed to be made under new syllabus of CA final? Don't worry, this video is like a one-stop solution to all of you. All your doubts will be clarified in this short video. So this video became possible based on our 20 years of experience. In our experience, we have seen syllabus change for four times and based on information gathered from various sources till 16th of January, I am making this video. Since this video is going to be very much helpful to you, watch it till the end. First of all, let us try to see the papers under new scheme when compared to that of existing scheme. As you already know, there used to be 8 papers in our old scheme and under the new scheme, they are proposing only 6 papers. That means 3 papers for each group. So, corporate and economic class which used to be the main paper in group 1 and SCMPE which used to be the main paper under group 2. These two papers will be shifted to self-paced learning modules. Earlier, we used to have an elective paper where student was given six elective papers and students can choose whatever he wants. But under the new scheme, the elective paper is replaced by multidisciplinary case studies with strategic management. That is the name of the paper. Now, what is this multidisciplinary case study paper? Don't worry, I am going to make another video with complete details. In addition to the above stated six papers, each and every student shall qualify for self-paced learning modules also. Yes, there will be exams and you need to qualify in them. Sir, what are these self-paced learning modules? Don't worry, I will cover it in a separate video in a detailed manner. In the existing scheme, we have one elective paper where student is given six options. Whatever he is interested, he can choose. But under the proposed scheme, such kind of elective paper is not there. But still, in the self-paced learning modules, students will be given options to choose. And most probably, under this new scheme, student will be given more than 10 options to choose based on his areas of interest. Don't worry, I am going to make a separate video covering the same. Here is the most important and interesting part of this video. What are the probable changes that may happen in each of the papers under the new scheme of CA final? Frankly speaking, institute is not that much very keen in making the changes in the syllabus of each paper. They are very much interested to update the quality of the question paper. They want to pay more attention to improve the quality of the question paper. So more or less in each of the papers, syllabus is going to remain same. My dear students, syllabus is different, quality of question papers is different. For example, in your intermediate, there is a chapter called BRS and the same chapter is there in CA foundation. That means the syllabus is same. Then you can see drastic change in the quality of question paper. Even in case of income tax, the same syllabus is there in BCom also. And you know pretty well the difference in the quality of question papers of the same income tax at degree level and CA, inter and final levels. That's why most probably focus will be more on improving the quality of the question papers rather than making some changes in the syllabus. Now coming to financial reporting, negligible chance to make any changes. Because even today, majority syllabus is standards. In such a case, what is the scope for making any changes in the syllabus? That's why I don't find any reason to worry that 
financial reporting paper is going to be modified drastically. I think several students have now got a clarity that they need not wait to take coaching for their financial reporting. Now coming to strategic financial management, the name is going to get changed and just for name's sake, one or two chapters may get eliminated and definitely few chapters will be added based on the latest developments. Now coming to advanced auditing and professional ethics, there is nothing to change in this particular paper because the entire paper consists of standards. In such a case, there is no much scope to modify the syllabus. Corporate and economic class, anyhow it will be shifted to uh, self-paced learning module. SCMP shifted to self-paced learning module. Elective paper, it will be replaced by multidisciplinary case study paper. Direct tax laws and international taxation, impossible to make any changes in this particular paper. Of course, the quality of question paper will definitely be modified. Indirect taxes, yes, there is no scope to bring any changes because these two are legal papers. In case of legal papers, what is that IC is going to modify? So, I don't find any reason for students to wait to take coaching for papers like FR, SFM, Auditing and DTN, IDT. So, totally five papers are there in which students can comfortably plan their coaching and need not wait for official announcement from CA Institute. Now, let us see the other proposed changes. Earlier, a student can join for practical training immediately after qualifying at least one group. It is going to be modified. Now, a student can join for practical training only after qualifying both the groups. In my opinion, it's definitely a wonderful move. I have seen large number of students who are unable to qualify their second group after joining for articles. So, when can a student appear for CA final exams? First, he needs to finish two years of practical training. After that, student has to maintain six months of gap. It's mandatory and it's a wonderful move. It's most advantageous for the student. The institute wants the student to sit, study seriously and get specialized knowledge in each of the papers and then go to CA final exams. In that manner, it's definitely a wonderful move. And student needs to qualify four sets of self-paced learning modules. Don't worry, student will be given options. Students shall also need to finish advanced ICI TSS, which includes management and communication skills as well as advanced IDT. There is no change in this particular aspect. Now, let us see the proposed changes in the exam pattern. Multidisciplinary case study paper will be open book exam. Remaining papers, closed book. 30% MCQs will be there in all the papers as against only 4 papers right now and in future there will be 0.25 negative marking in the MCQs as against no negative marking right now. Sir, is this going to be advantage to the student? Yes, if the student listens to the classes with utmost attention, avoids a selective preparation, avoids a mugging up the concepts without understanding them then it's definitely going to be advantage to the student. Just imagine, if you listen to the classes very attentively, then you don't need any additional preparation for your MCQs. Without any preparation, you can attempt all the MCQs in all the papers. Of course, if you don't do so, then it will be definitely a disadvantage to you. There is a small proposed change with respect to exemption rules also. So, once you get an exemption, you can continue with that for the next three attempts. After that, if you want to continue the benefit of getting that exemption, then you need to score 50% marks in all the remaining papers of that group together, excluding the paper of exemption. This one change is proposed to be made. Sir, any change in the pass criteria? No, not at all. And one great news to all the students is, if a student is unable to qualify CA final, then he will get a qualification called Business Accounting Associate. This is very much similar to the earlier qualification of Accounting Technician. Let's see how the industry is going to accept and receive the same. Now, let us quickly jump into Q&A session. ICAI may make an official announcement by January ending or February ending. And most probably the first attempt under new scheme will be November 23. But 
if the official announcement gets delayed then they may postpone the first attempt to may 24 attempt rather than november 23 sir why there is a delay in official announcement why can't ca institute announce immediately my dear students please don't forget that icai is a statutory body since they are going to make drastic changes they need to obtain consensus just understand so bringing down from eight papers to six papers is not a small change it's a revolutionary change so hence they need some time to bring consensus and they need to get approvals from parliament and various government authorities so have some patience if at all they are ready with all the official announcement then why should they wait they would have made an announcement now itself so definitely they have initiated the process and there might be in that process and they are trying to clear all those setbacks let's wait and see sir can icai make an official announcement immediately after getting all the approvals i don't think so because they need to prepare the study metals also they need to frame the transition provisions which is going to be very complex so still they may need another one month to come up with official announcement sir what about the quality of question papers i don't know whether you have noticed clearly or not ca final question papers before december 20 attempt are different after december 20 attempt are different the way question is framed has completely got changed now institute wants to test you whether you are in a position to apply what you learnt or not earlier in the old question paper institute used to test whether you know the provision or not but now things have drastically changed don't worry yes institute is keenly trying to improve the quality of question papers still further in future the question papers will be in such a manner that any student who listens to the classes with absolute attention and understands each and every concept that student can qualify CA final with a very minimum efforts. Let's wait and see. Any chances for ICAI to announce new scheme after February ending? If it is CA inter, it may not be possible because March 1st is the last date to register for CA inter for November 23 attempt. Of course, there are minute chances for CA institute to make an announcement even after March 1st with respect to CA inter. But such kind of deadlines are not there for CA final. So, institute may make an announcement even after February ending also. But in my opinion, if it is announced after February ending, then students who are going to attempt examinations for November 23 for the first time will definitely have some challenges under this new syllabus. So, considering that institute may postpone to May 24. These are all ifs and buts. We have to wait and see what the CA institute is thinking. Sir, what about the transition provisions? Earlier, whenever there used to be a syllabus change, institute used to conduct exams under old syllabus and new syllabus parallelly for few attempts. But this time, institute is planning not to allow such kind of parallel attempts. Logic is very simple. Why any student wants to write 8 papers instead of 6 papers? So once this new scheme is announced, I think 90% of the old students who are unable to clear by the time will definitely be interested to shift to new syllabus because their burden is going to get reduced. So that's why considering that fact, institute is thinking to stop this concept of parallel attempts even in my opinion it's absolutely fine it's a good move for example in when earlier the syllabus change was happened so i recommended the students to shift from old syllabus to new syllabus several students were reluctant to shift but after completion of the first attempt under new syllabus so they were stunned to look at the pass percentage under the new syllabus the pass percentage was very encouraging under the new syllabus compared to the old syllabus. So that means institute always wants you to shift to the new syllabus whenever there is a syllabus change. And my dear students, why the hell the institute wants to change the syllabus? 
based on the requirements of the industry is it not in such a case what is the advantage for you to continue under the old syllabus because the industry is not in line with that of old syllabus that's why what i could say is whenever there is a syllabus change i always encourage the students to shift to the new syllabus immediately of course definitely you can have a different opinion and coming to the last attempt under old syllabus it all depends on when icai is going to make official announcement based on information available till date the icai is saying that november 23 will be the last attempt under old syllabus of course there will not be any impact with respect to may 23 attempt it will definitely be conducted under old syllabus only sir if i am able to qualify one group in old scheme what is my position under the new scheme so institute will never expect you to qualify that group once again under the new scheme you qualified one group na under old syllabus you need not qualify that group under the new scheme student need not worry about such kind of things even if you have earned some exemptions under the old scheme you will definitely be given the benefit of similar exemptions under the new scheme also you need not worry about that let us assume you have completed two end of years of practical training under old scheme now is it required for you to finish four self paced learning modules to give attempt under new syllabus for november 23 attempt so most probably the answer is no but before coming to a conclusion let us wait for the ca institute to officially announce the transition provisions don't be anxious about the remaining questions all your doubts will be clarified by icai through transition provisions just have patience observe the latest developments and everything the institute will clarify to you and remember this is not the first time that we are seeing the syllabus change so in our experience syllabus has got changed for four times based on that experience only i am requesting you not to feel anxious about the upcoming changes be cool so everything will be done in your favor only for your benefit only if you are planning to write your first attempt of ca final exams in november 23 then please start ca final coaching immediately as i have already said there are five papers which will not change you can comfortably start coaching for those five papers and we are going to start our ca final 28th regular batch at guntur very soon so please stay tuned with this channel i am going to make a separate video with all the details of that batch sir so since icai has not officially made announcement about new scheme how coaching will be planned for ca final 28th regular batch in masterminds don't worry we have planned everything and i am going to make an exclusive video for the same watch it without fail if a student is planning to write ca final exams for the first time in may 24 this is how such student needs to plan his coaching first start coaching with common papers that is five papers i told you earlier and for the remaining papers you wait till icai makes an official announcement alternatively you better start self preparation for the subjects of auditing dt and idt once ca institute comes up with official announcement then you plan your ca final coaching very soon we will come up with a series of videos relating to our ca and cma final 28th regular batch stay tuned to this channel if you have any doubts you can post the same in the comment section or you can send it as a mail to my mail id by the way masterminds is a premier institution offering coaching from inter mec cec to csma final with an annual admissions of nearly 20000 for the aspirants of bba or mba or law courses we also offer an innovative academic program called mec pro here are the brief details here are the details of our online presence here are the details of our physical presence you can directly interact with any of the directors of masterminds here are the mail ids don't forget to install our app for a lot of useful content happy to share that students from this many states are studying with us thanks to our alumni for their wonderful support if you find this video to be useful please like it share it and subscribe to this channel all the best